What's up everyone, it is Brad here, and today let's take a journey to my LEGO city. This is my LEGO city that I've been working on building for years now, but especially been working hard on it since earlier this year. And today in this video, I'm gonna be giving you a full tour of the city to show you exactly what it's looking like as of October, 2023. This year I have done lots of LEGO City updates where I've shown you the progress of the LEGO City, but this is going to be the first time that I'm just sitting down to give you guys a full tour and to show you exactly what's going on here in the city. To start this tour off, let's take a look at my favorite section of the LEGO City, that is Tile Square. So Tile Square is actually modeled off of New York City's Times Square. I love all the billboards there and all the activity going on. So I wanted to have something here in the center of the city that replicates that. So this is where there's a crossroad in the Lego City. It is a huge intersection here. Very similar obviously to Times Square and an intersection that we have here in Toronto. Right now there are cars in it, but this section could be closed to host events. I've got a stage, a custom built stage over here that could actually fit up here in the Lego City for big activities and whatnot. Above that, obviously, we've got the wall of billboards here. So it is 2023, so obviously the sign is switched there for now. We've got a bunch of billboards all around. We've got everything from official LEGO advertisements to companies I've worked with in the past, as well as a bunch of my favorite video thumbnails as well. You know, it's my LEGO city, I'm gonna advertise myself. We've also got like a couple of brick heads over here and then more advertisements all throughout the LEGO city. We of course have a bunch of buildings in the center here as well. So starting at the back here, I did actually make two custom facades to make it look like buildings on that side as well. Beside that, we've actually got a Lego store and a hotel as well as a school. This is like a multi-level multi school, really cool multi-use building. Besides that, we've actually got a TV studio. This is the Ellen DeGeneres show. Obviously the Ellen show isn't actually filming anymore, but back in the day, that was one of the very first Lego mocks I ever made, so I have it there. This is Brick's Tower. I should mention this is the complex where all of these current buildings are being housed. We've got an event space over here, a sushi restaurant, a Lego influencers clubhouse, as well as a hotel and my penthouse suite up here overlooking the entire Lego city. Next to that, we've got part of the pet shop, which is part of the Bricks Tower complex. It actually has the wall on the side busted out and it's part of the Ellen studio. And then next to that, we've just got a, an apartment building. On the other side of Bricks Tower here, there's just the second tower complex, which is actually hosting my two story Lego room and a few empty buildings with a cool skylight and a really neat Lego flag. On the opposite side of the square here, we do do have the palace cinema which is really cool so this is an official lego modular building set and then on top of that you can see there are more advertisements as well as the ball just like in times square new york city i wanted to have a ball that would be able to drop on new year's eve so that is why it is there it is a huge ball overlooking the entire lego city you guys can see we've got lots of minifigures living throughout the Lego city here. Lots of people shopping, going to the hotel, carrying their suitcases, driving around and even parked. We even got some people there buying tickets to the show and some paparazzi taking their photos. Moving on here from Tile Square, you actually come over into the beach area of the Lego city. So off to the side here, we have got the bank, which is a Lego modular building. And then next to that, we've got the new 2023 Jazz Club, as well as the police station here. I love these modular buildings because even though they're technically it's only three modular building sets There's like six different buildings here So it just looks really really neat and adds a lot a lot of flair to the Lego City We've got the road continuing all along here as well with all of the cars We've got tons of pedestrians walking lots of flowers lots of activity going on You know, we've got an old couple on the bench just vibing We've got a couple magicians out here playing in front of the jazz club trying to get people to come in We've got chefs and people eating pizza and lots of nice fancy cars, people getting ice cream, people walking babies, and so much more. Kitty corner to the bank, we've got one of my favorite modular buildings ever. This is the Grand Emporium, which again, so much activity is going on here and I love how it faces into the Lego city. Beside that, we've got the new Boutique Hotel, which is a really cool modular as well. This one really gives me beach vibes. That's why I wanted it front and center on the beach here in the Lego city. Speaking of the beach here, this is actually where it comes down. It dips down into the Lego city. So it is a elevated or a lowered part of the city, but we've got some big steps going down the Lego city here. And then on the beach area, we've got a ton of Lego minifigures, just kind of vibing and relaxing. We've got a lot of minifigures swimming in the water here with some waves coming on in and obviously not even sand. We've got the wall around the Lego city that's containing 
you know, the city because it's the elevated portion. Obviously, some natural rock work there. We even got many figures setting up picnics, playing volleyball, and more. We've got the old fisherman's bait shop here, which is really cool. I love this set. I think it's really cool, and I think it goes great on the pier area, and it looks really nice. And then in the water there, again, more minifigures just kind of enjoying the water. We've got people kayaking, and we've got people snorkeling. And even on the other side of the bridge, we have people boating. I also have built a bridge in the Lego City, which I really, really like. So it is kind of the bridge to nowhere, but it connects the main part of the Lego City. So it can go all the way from Tile Square all the way down here. This is like, I want to say like the Rodeo Drive of my Lego City. This is where all the fancy cars are. This is where all the fancy stores are. All the minifigures walking and getting exercise because it's really fun. And then of course we've got the bridge here, which I really like. It's a fully custom made bridge that goes right over the Lego City and continues on. Back here, I've already shown you the police station and everything here, but across from that, we've actually got a subway platform, which is the entrance to the subway system, because here in the LEGO City, I do have a subway system. So the subway is actually underground and does go underneath the LEGO City. It does have a real working train, which I will show you. But you guys can see you enter right here, go down the stairs. There's even like vending machines, LEGO minifigures walking around newsstands, and then even more stairs to get to the op opposite side of the street. So this is just like the subway system here in Toronto. The train comes in, picks up the Lego minifigures, and then continues all the way underneath the Lego city, all the way to the other side. Over here above the subway system, we do have a couple restaurants here, like a burger shop, a noodle shop, and a toy shop. We've got a Lego hospital that is currently under construction. Lots of work needs to be done to the hospital, but you guys can see there are crews working very hard, very diligently outside the hospital trying to get that complete. Above that here, I've got the Lego Federal Building and the Municipal Building. This is kind of like the mayor's office of the Lego City. So in front of that, I've got a huge tree here, which I love this tree. This is the Lego Christmas tree. Obviously, all the decorations have been taken off right now, but at Christmas time, it will be decorated and will look very, very nice. And then this is just the square. So the square can easily be used to host events and activities here in the Lego City. Right now, because we're just coming off of summer, it is still decorated to be a fair. So in the fall, I can decorate it to be Halloween themed and then in the winter it will be Christmas themed again all kind of fair vibes and just things you'd like to see in a Lego City and lots of fun so all the minifigures you guys can tell are having a blast here in the Lego City beyond that we do have the corner garage which is a really great set as well which has got some really cool vehicles on it and very very nice detailing Behind the, all these buildings here, I think I forgot to showcase, but I do have another skyscraper here. This one's got a few different offices in it as well and just looks really cool on top of the other buildings. We've got my business card billboard here. Beyond that, we've got the detective's office and the pool hall, which is really fun. And then we've got just like a satellite dish on there to keep all the minifigures connected. We've got the assembly square right here, which contains a lot of Lego buildings and a lot of offices and things like that, as well as some residential apartment buildings above it. Moving back on over here to this part of the Lego city, we actually have the park, which is directly up from the beach area here. So the park is where a lot of minifigures are hanging out and getting their green space their time outside, their vitamin D. It's really cool. It's connected to the hotel as well. And there's a few other shops in the park. We've also got a Lego City Museum, which is front and center on an angle here. So the minifigures can have something to do while they're here. There's a statue overlooking the Lego City and the harbor front area, as well as a bunch of minifigures just sitting on picnic tables and park benches, having some food, relaxing and enjoying. There is a little bit of a fair here, nothing too crazy, just a few carnival games and a Ferris wheel because it's kind of like a boardwalk. So the minifigures want to be able to have a little fun and see the Lego City from great details. And then obviously throughout the Lego City are full of trees and other green spaces, lots of flowers in this area because I wanted the minifigures to have somewhere nice to escape. Beyond that, we've got a bookshop, which is perfect for being in the Lego City, because if you're just wanting to you know, relax in the park, what better thing to do than grab a book and read? And then, of course, we've also got a downtown diner here, which overlooks the park as well and is a great thing for minifigures to get some food. Beyond the diner here, we've got a few more shops and restaurants. 
two of them are there and then we've got one back here with some construction workers actually working on building a few more i've already shown you the bricks tower here as well which is really fun and then moving on here we've actually got the fire station as well as the police station the fire station started off as a lego set but i did some heavy modifications to it just to make it be bigger and look really awesome and the police station here is a fully custom lego mock Behind that, we've actually got the NCIS headquarters from the hit NCIS TV show. This is basically the Navy Yard, so there's a bunch of police cars there, some Navy, lots of flowers and green space, and it looks pretty similar to the show, minus the Avengers Tower on top. This is just a, an extra tower I added to have some fun here in the Lego City. But on the back here of the police station, there's also like a helicopter pad, lots of satellite dishes, and lots of equipment to make it look like a building. And then beyond that, we've actually got the second part of the lego modular building pet shop i highlighted it a little throughout the lego city update as well but there are also lots of cars moving around the city here lots of cars and vehicles i didn't want the whole city to be full of cars because i wanted it to still look really good and still be enjoyable but i did try and include some of my favorite here a variety of cars mostly residential vehicles not a lot of commercial ones just because those are the bigger and bulky ones and i didn't want the lego city to look too busy but i included a bunch of city ones some buses here lots of food trucks as well because my lego minifigures they love to eat i would say it's very hard to capture all of the details in one's lego city even as i go through this video here and i'm filming it myself and i built the city i'm noticing things that i like forgot i did like for example i added a little duck down here into the lego city look at the little guy just relaxing on the hammock there i already mentioned but we've got the woman pushing her baby look at there's even like a little bunny for the magician and honestly so much is happening here in the lego city i love it and as i mentioned here i do have a subway system so you guys can see the train does come into the subway station here pulls up all the way till the end parks lets all the minifigures get on board and then starts driving back down underneath the lego city where it will go to the other side however i haven't actually finished building the subway station here yet the one over here is obviously finished and complete but this one will be coming in another lego city update but you guys can see the foundations for this are there my goal for this lego city is when you look at it you just see a lego city that's why underneath i've got it full of black fabric so you can't see anything under the table and there actually is an entire wall looping the lego city with lots of colors it's got black whites and grays because i wanted it to be detailed i wanted you to be able to see that it was a wall i wanted you to be able to see that it was made out of lego and that it had lots of nice detail to go along with it and then the subway systems are going to be even more populated very soon and i know once i get the second subway into the lego city it's going to just look 10 times better anyway you guys that has been a full lego city tour for october 2023 like i mentioned this has been a while since i filmed a lego lego city tour here on the channel just walking you through all the detail i've added to my lego city so this was a ton of fun you'll have to let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of the lego city and if you want to see anything changed in the near future obviously the city is always changing and evolving and i absolutely love getting all of your comments and suggestions on how to make it the best city possible i love adding these details and i love adding the little easter eggs so please keep them coming i'd love to hear your suggestions your feedback anything at all is very appreciated anyway you guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you did enjoy please don't forget to leave a like comment and of course subscribe and i'll see you guys here in the next video